this is the 8 inch version of the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3. It's thin, light, and capable. If you know anything about Samsung tablets, its features won't really surprise you. It's essentially a skinnier version of the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 without the S Pen stylus, of course. It includes a micro SD card slot, a 1.3 megapixel front camera, and a 5 megapixel back camera. There's the very useful home button and the less useful menu and back buttons. A few years ago, Android brought these buttons into the software, so I just think it's a little weird and possibly unnecessary to put them back on the hardware. However, it does free up a bit of screen real estate. There's also an IR blaster on the tablet's edge that works in tandem with Samsung's Watch On TV Guide slash remote control software. Micro USB for charging and transferring, dual speakers, and a headphone jack on the top round out the notable physical features. Multi-window, which allows you to run two concurrent apps, makes its way over from the note line and though it doesn't work as seamlessly with your finger as opposed to a stylus, it's still a welcome, useful feature for multitaskers. But it's still disappointing it doesn't work with every app. I really like how the Tab 3 fits in my hand. It's about the same weight as an iPad mini and since it's not nearly as wide, it's easier to hold in one hand. It's definitely plastic but thanks to its smooth, rounded corners and well-placed features, it doesn't feel cheap. The screen has a 1280 by 800 resolution, which while no longer impressive on larger tablets, is still high enough to offer a high pixel density on an 8 inch screen, leading to an impressively sharp and not to mention bright display. Games performance won't blow your hair back or anything, but it's good enough as to not be distracting. The tablet costs $300 for 16 gigabytes of storage, which is maybe a tad much. I would have been much happier with something in the $270 range. Still, with all the features it offers, it's difficult to raise too big a stink about the price. Having said that though, a lower price would have been much better. For more information, check out my full review at CNET.com. I'm Eric Franklin, and this has been a first look at the 8-inch Samsung Galaxy Tab 3.